Well, good morning everyone. <clears throat> Welcome to the High Desert Amateur Radio Club vlog number 21 for July the 29th, 2020. My name is David Ham. I'm the president of the club and my call sign is November 6, Sierra India Kilo, N6SIK. Uh, got lots of uh, some new information, some good stuff uh, for today's vlog. <clears throat> I was, um, uh, I was picking up my mail the other day, <laughs> and, uh, uh, another box showed up from Mikhail McCreary, AL7RD, uh, a former member. He had sent us those radios in the past. It contained several accessories for the handheld radios he had sent a couple of weeks prior. Um, uh, these will certainly make a valuable addition to the loaner radios for the new hams in the club. So please join me again in a, a huge thank you to Mikhail and Rose McCreary for their thoughtful donation. I'm looking to create a new position, uh, information coordinator. I'm constantly being sent all kinds of info that I just don't have time to organize and present. I'm looking for someone who has their finger on the pulse of ham radio that can provide a weekly paragraph to be included in these emails and maybe a monthly article for the newsletter. I'm asking for all of this in effort to keep the club up to date with what's going on. Uh, thanks in advance to whoever will set this up and, and do this. Uh, the club is now on Amazon Smile. You need to designate the High Desert Amateur Radio Club as your recipient of the half a percent donation. Look for the unique link on the in the email. The Saturday weekly 10 a.m. nets continue to be a tremendous success. Uh, last week... We had 57 members show up. The week before that was 53, 54. Man, just some huge numbers. Huge numbers. Um, thanks to all the members that take the time to check in and the non-members that take the time to check in. I know uh, that's your most valuable asset. It's your time. And thank you very much for sharing it with us. Um, this upcoming Saturday is the first Saturday of the month, and our good friend Larry, NY5L, will be the net control. Um, just a heads up for you, uh, once again, August has a fifth Saturday. So once again, I'm looking for someone to be net control for that fifth Saturday. Matthias did it last time. He's certainly welcome to do it again, but if someone else wants, jump right up. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun. I know uh, uh, all of the net controls enjoy uh, the time they spend Saturday morning uh, talking to folks. You know, uh, on that subject, I'm going off the script here, and I'm going wild. <laughs> um, on the numbers, the, the numbers of people that are checking in, um, when we get back to meeting again... Um, the side room there at the police department was always full before. And heck, uh, for the February meeting, I think there were only about, on the, on the log, maybe 56, 57 members, paid members that are on the log. Well, that number is up to 126 now. I'm wondering if that little room is going to be size enough for us. So, I'm putting the word out far and wide to the membership of the High Desert Amateur Radio Club. Do me a favor. If you know a local church, a local hall, a local anything in, in your area that might be able to accommodate 50, 60, Members, I don't know what's going to happen when we start getting back together. Um, please, 
forward that information to me also if they charge for it. Uh, I know, for example, the caravan club where they meet, um, that church hall um, wouldn't hold 50 to 60 people, but their investment there is they provide them in December just gobs of canned food for their food drive, and that's what they pay to rent those rooms for the year. <clears throat> so, please, put the word out far and wide. We're looking uh, ten temporarily here, not temporary, tentatively looking for uh, um, uh, new, new uh, digs uh, just due to the huge numbers of folks that are joining, that have joined, and for crying out loud, you know, are going to join uh, in, in the past two months alone. Uh, June had 11 new members. Uh, July, I think we're up to 18, 19, maybe 20 new members. Um, uh, there's uh, 30 or so, maybe more, maybe almost 40 new members since I have become president. Um, and, um, <laughs> uh, you know, that... Uh, that momentum just keeps rolling on. Uh, thank the good Lord, I tell you. Okay, so, um, back to the script. VE testing. Anyone wishing to take an exam can contact Jim Cater at Alpha Foxtrot 5, Foxtrot Hotel, at net. The Wednesday lunch chat has moved back to Zoom. And look for that log on information in this email. Um, the Whammo Net. Let's talk about that for a moment. <clears throat> There's a time conflict, uh, and I'd like to have that resolved, and I'm going to resolve it. Um, uh, there's a local D Star Net that has started to meet at the same time we had been having the Whammo Net. Uh, many members have tried in the past few weeks to do both nets at the same time. Uh, you can imagine uh, there's been some disappointment with that. Uh, so I'll be moving the Whammo net to 6.30 on Wednesday evenings in order to accommodate both nets. You know, the Whammo net not going to go past a half hour at all, you know, maybe 15, 20 minutes. We'll get a bunch of people together, exchange whammo numbers, everybody has a good time, and then you can go on to the D-Star net without trying to do both. So please, everybody, update your Google calendars. The whammo net has moved starting this evening to 6.30 p.m. Uh, on the... Uh, Whammo frequencies, which are the club repeater 442.750 plus PL162.2 and the VHF crossband simplex frequency of 146.460. No PL. Uh, that uh, uh, VHF uh, crossband is located in the area of Highway uh, 25 and Paseo del Norte uh, for orientation of 13 element beams. That's a joke. <laughs> oh gosh, if you're an active club member, guess what? You already have a whammo number. You have a whammo number. So please join us for the fun this evening. Uh, don't forget to download the new whammo list that is attached to the email. Uh, that's about it for now. Everybody stay safe, be well, I'll see you next time.